worked on the um, it's uh it's a message it's a message inspired by the group. We're entering Dachau concentration camp just outside of Munich, Germany. The students are right behind me and as we enter you will see the barracks on the left, what's left of them. There are a number of empty spaces down behind there that I will show you later. Um, to as the entrance into the camp and we are heading to the main administration buildings which you can see behind the students. Uh, we will go in there tour the museum see a video about the camp and how it functioned and how the Holocaust was able to take place in Germany. Dachau was the first German concentration camp and actually served as a work, work camp starting in the early 1930s after Hitler rose to power. You can see here the sleeping arrangements for those who were sent to the camp not very much space given to each of the inhabitants. Uh, later I will go into the locker area and to a little bit more of the barracks. Out the back window here you'll be able to see these concrete rectangles stretching all the way down to the end here. Uh, the guard towers along the side with the walls. These rectangles were each the foundation for a barracks and you can see how they just stretch on and on and on and with the arrangement of the beds, you can just imagine how many people this place held during the height of the Holocaust. The bells you hear in the background ring as a memorial to those who lost their lives in the Holocaust. I'm going to pan around the camp as you listen to the ringing of the bells. It just serves as an eerie reminder of what took place here and in other camps. chamber and cremation facilities at Dachau. I'm just going to wander through the building here and I'll be taking pictures and I'll try to show some of the signs of what took place in each of these rooms and just kind of let those explain what actually happened here. Thank you. 